So there's the spear. Just taking a break for me. I've been in this fucking tractor since like six o'clock. And it's a uh, quarter to nine. I had to quit stacking in the yard. Cause I gotta wait for my uncle to push the stack in because I can only bring in about six or six or seven at a time and then he's got to push them in because I can't stack them you know twine side out so we can grab them with the 400 so the first two rounds or the first two rows or whatever however with you know doing it with the spears it went all right, but you know, you were still not getting the bales really all that close. And my uncle wanted a little bit of space between them anyway, because he says that when they're actually touching, then they actually they freeze down even harder and they're a little bit worse to move. Well, if you had a tractor like that, it wouldn't be a problem then, but that 400 is a little light, so there's that much, that much there for balls. If it had more wheel weights, I think it would be all right. Or, doesn't have any at all, but it should have a piece of set put on or something, but. So that's the spear that he brought. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't care for him one bit. I just, I've been fighting with more fucking bales than I've been moving. Um, it's just, it's much more frustrating and I'm doing more fucking clutching than anything else so it's like i'm going to burn up my clutch i think the young guy can buy me a new clutch then when it comes to time to replace that clutch because this is on this on unnecessary wear and tear but he says he would get the the movers the bale mover fixed if i had to well i think you need to because this is just more wear and tear on the on my clutch than anything else the problem i'm running into and i don't know if it's the bales or if it's the fucking spear or it could be a mixture of both. The spear is too freaking thick. Okay, no wonder why people make them smaller now because, you know, bales. And then another thing is that the young guy has a habit of making them so, you know, so fucking tight that you can't get nothing in them. Especially in the center. That's where the core of the bales made and uses. They're, they're like the tightest out of everything. And, yeah, you, you just, you, you, yes. I don't know, every now and then you run into a bale that, you know, it stabs perfectly fine. But I've run into a lot of bales, too, that are just, they're very hard to, to pierce. And I've tried going to the other side, doing the same thing. There was a bale over there. It's over here now in this stack. Because any bales that I have to fight with, I don't want them. It's, I don't know whose fault it is. It's either how tight the bales are being made, or it's the spear, or it's a mixture of both. But if they're going to be a cocksucker to get stabbed in, I don't want them. They can stay out here and the young guy can fucking take them then. Um, it's just... Yeah. I don't know. I like to... I just... I'm not a fan of them. It's, they're ridiculous. I'm not going to get done tonight. I was hoping I could at least... Um, finish the square field off but I, I highly doubt it I'm not going to go until midnight but I don't want to and it's finally freaking cooling off now or it's uh you know it's, it's just cooling off so now is the time to be moving them and the sun's down below the tree line but then huh, here comes some deer holy shit look at them go there goes those two bucks over there the problem I'm running into, like I've said, is it's just, it's those fucking, it's either the spear or, the, or it's the bale. I don't know. It's, it could be a mixture of both, both being a cunt. But I don't like them. The fucking spear is too thick. It needs to be a smaller spear is what it needs to be. Not this fucking guy drink the six inch in diameter pipe that's got a stabby point on it. Fucking deer don't even care that there's a tractor running out here. <laughs> so, there they go. 
nothing runs like a deer so I don't know there's an, there's another company I see I found them too that they make they still make bale movers how good they are I don't know but they want $650 for them that's kind of a lot to pay for a stinking spear or I mean for a bale mover but I'd rather have that than this piece of shit I'm just not getting nothing done it's, it was going good in the yard because well for a little while it was going good because all I had to do was dump and go and then my my uncle he could push them how he wants them well there's, he's going to have his good days and he's going to have his bad days well today he was in like a medium day so can't get much fucking done with him either he wants to fucking quit after an hour it's like well I got to get shit rolling so I figured out well, I figured I could just put those six in there. He can push them tight, and then I'll bring him another six or whatever the, f the fuck it is. And I'll just keep doing that, I guess, until he says it's full, and then from there we'll have to switch. Because right now we're doing the yard that's the closest to the barn, even though those are last to get fed. But you know, we still want things stacked, you know, so we can grab them. We're thinking in the future here. We're not thinking now. We're thinking into the future. So, you know, that's why that, that's what was nice about the movers is that you could I I could do whatever I want with the bales. It didn't matter. I could pick them up from either side. I could put them into the yard how he wants them, and we only had to run the one tractor. Now we're running fucking two. And then I run into trouble with the fucking spear and not wanting to stab. Well. The amount of time it takes me to figure out what the fuck is going on, trying to get one bale to be pierced. My uncle could have come down here with the 400 and grabbed two more. It's like ridiculous. And he has to put a chain around them to even move them with the loader. So, you know, it's like he can move faster than I'm fucking moving. And, and that was the main reason why we used my tractor, because I can move mine faster throughout the field, you know. So, I mean... When it comes to the young guys, hey, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter then because, you know, we can deal with it on this side because that's how, I, this is how they get stacked every time. It doesn't matter how I use, it doesn't matter what I use, if it's the spear or the mover. So they're always going to sit this way because then he can bring a truck in and then just, you know, right there. I think I got these bales a little closer together this time. Too fucking bad. This is the way it's going to be. I want to get fucking... I think he wanted more gap, but there's going to be more bales here this year too. So I think we're, they're going to have to be a little tighter, even though I can I can go for quite a ways yet. But I don't know how many we got up. I think we got maybe 30. I don't know. I never really counted. It's just fuck the count, and it's just like when you know the yard's full, then you know you're probably getting close. So and the yard's only about half full. So this fucking twine. And then he was having trouble with one of that baler that he's got up there, that 688, it wouldn't fucking tie worth a shit. So every time, or it wouldn't cut every time they wrapped the fucking bale. So then every time they made a bale, well, it would never cut. So then he had to get out and cut it. Or it just wrapped the bale a million freaking times. So, and then the uh, 855s, well, they're fucking still broke down. Waiting for all those fucking parts to come in, which I don't know how it's so hard to get fucking parts, but fucking bullshit's what it is. So, I don't know how much longer I'm going to go. I mean, the sun's already down, but... And I've gone after dark plenty of times, but see, the thing is, is I can't stack in the yard now. I got to quit for tonight because, you know, he wants them a certain fucking way and I got to wait for him to fucking stack. And, you know, I, I'm not going to run two fucking tractors. It's just ridiculous. So it's just, I'm not getting nothing fucking accomplished today. So I don't know. 
so it's just it's getting kind of irritated so i decided i just you know do what i can at the yard and he can fucking stack them tomorrow morning or whenever the hell he feels like it and then i'll bring him another six or seven or whatever the hell it is to make another roll there and then i guess whenever you think he's had enough then that's enough there and i'll we'll have to start another roll or another area and then uh you'll have to stack them his way so but And then it fucking rained last night. It rained all goddamn night. It, uh, it rained uh, two and a half fucking inches of rain, which in a way it was all right because we kind of needed rain because we were dry, but I was only hoping maybe for like an inch, not two and a half. Probably going to be closer to three. <laughs> it's just... Because I can't go in certain areas of the yard because then they get tore up. It's like, well, motherfucker, no matter what, they're going to get tore up. So I'm so sick and tired of hearing that. Well, don't drive there. You're going to tear it up. Motherfucker, then you move the fucking bales. I'm not going to sit here and play fucking games. I want to get fucking shit done. I got too many other bales to fucking move. I ain't going to dick around. I want to get done here before I go fucking move to the next field because I got to do this cocksucker. Half of this field's done, but I got, you know, all along the tree lines and all that shit back there. The little 12 acres done. I took, there was 10 bales there, so I took five, and I left five for the young guys. So they're already in the stack. Because I want to get that field done. I got that field done this morning. Because um, I just wanted to get it done. So... I, I, I don't know. And I'm not going to sit here and just, you know, play with my dick all fucking day and wait for him to decide to push bales around. So I might as well bring up some of the young guys because I'd rather just do ours that, you know, at first and then focus on the young guys. Hey, well, motherfucker, when you, when you got a man that's only at half throttle, it's like you can't get nothing done. So, and then that Spears being a fucking dick. I hate that cocksucker. I want to, whoever designed it needs to be bitch slapped. Cause he ain't getting fucking shit. Either he needs to quit making them so fucking bloody tight, or he needs to put a smaller spear on it. Then I don't know, but he's buying me a new clutch. That clutch breaks, well, that's on him to pay for it. Cause I'm not paying for it. Cause these fucking spears are just not doing it. I'm tearing up my fucking tractor, even trying to move these cock sucking bales. So, but I don't know. It's just uh. I'm getting a little irritated right now. If it was if it was with the bale movers, when it'd be a different story, then I could still keep putting them in the yard and and be done with them. But I don't know. If I got to run two tractors, well, then there's no fucking sense of even coming on here with, with this fucking thing. Then I might as well use the 400 and just fucking grab them one at a time, and put a fucking chain around. At least I can move them. And then, it's probably faster than this sucker. It's like, I don't know. And then uh, some of these bales, they're, they're lopsided. That's just how they were made. Well, they're an interesting thing to figure out a spear because the bales, the spear don't want to go in them either. And then um, they were, there's still another bale over there in the ditch, but it's closer away. But that last bale that I just brought up was so far in the ditch. Of course, it was on an angle, so like you, you, you can't spear them that way. I tried anyway. My damn near just flipped it right into the fucking ditch. I was like, well, you can't piece, you can't pierce them from the side. Too tight, so it doesn't work. You can push them. You can roll them around. That's what all you can do with them. But you, I mean, it's still hard. So. Well, there's only one option left, and that was to go into that big fucking ditch that's nice and deep down in there. 
you know, so in the process of, you know, almost rolling my tractor, because there's really no way of getting down in there, he's got to quit fucking dumping them so close to the ditch. I don't care if you cut the fucking grass, if you're going to bale it, well, then put the bales somewhere where I can get to them. If you're going to dump them there, then you can come with your tractor and move them in, because that's a cocksucker and a half, so I ain't dealing with it anymore. If we... If you bring me the bale movers, different story. Then it doesn't matter. But if you're going to make me keep using this fucking spear, forget it. I'll leave them then. You can go out there with your John Deere and pick them up then. I'm not going to break my tractor over them. So. <clears throat> and I didn't even know if it, if it was going to spear it, you know, because of being way down, the ditch being way down like this. I was like, well, I'm, I'm crooked. Instead of being straight, I'm actually on an angle because that's just how I got into the ditch because I'm not going to sit here and go up the dike, go back down the dike, you know, I'm not doing that, putting all the stress on my clutch. So I just come in on an angle, praying that it'll somewhat spear it, maybe enough that I can pick it up and get it actually out into the square field. Well, that's, that worked. Just coming in on, kind of on an angle, spearing it as far as I can, picking it up as high as I can before it would fall off, and then just backing up, up out of the ditch. So, those deer again but I don't know it's just ridiculous so yeah they they I mean when they I mean they work great when they work but I think it's the bales that some of them are too tight I don't know or it's just something's wonky with these center areas that the spirit just does not want to go into them so, I don't know. I'd buy my own fucking set of bale movers, which is in the in the future plans, but it's not going to be today. So I got to make do with what I got. <sighs> but I'm having a break because I'm frustrated and the sun's about to go down. So, my right, it's already down now, but. There's a good breeze going on, so, you know, it's nice and cool, but. I don't know. I got a lot of hay to fucking move, so I don't really have time to be dicking around and then waiting for the yard to fucking dry out so we can not tear it up. Well, motherfucker, it's, it's going to get tore up regardless. I'm crying out loud. You know. So. Well, that's because we got that, you know, two and a half inches of rain, and that made everything sopping wet. It's, it's dried out quite a bit now since the sun's been out pretty much all day, so it has dried quite a bit, but they're not really talking any rain now for the next few days, so everything should dry out again, but, you know, it's just, uh... I don't know, kind of, depending on how... I gotta try. I gotta try to figure out how I can keep this tractor moving without having to stop every fucking twenty minutes for somebody to take a break and have a cigarette. So, if I can't move any more bales here, I think I'm just gonna bounce over to the cemetery field and, and take up some of them and move them. Because I've clearly this is this is gonna take a three. This is gonna take a month. So, I think that's the only thing I can do to keep this fucking tractor moving is. Uh, I mean, I guess I can, I, mean, I can stack up here too, which I'm doing. I'm going to throw a few here and there, but like I said, I'd rather get ours up. So then it's, it's, to me, it just makes more sense to just stay in this field and get it done. But when I can't get our hay put up, you know, in a certain amount of time, and because nobody else wants to run the other tractor and push them into a pile, well... I don't really want to be out here stacking these up either. Of course, even that's what I've been doing a little bit here and there. But these are the bales that have all been trouble for the most part. There's quite a few of them here that have been troubled bales, and I don't want them. Any bales that give me a hard time, they stay out here in the field. The young guy can deal with them. So, I don't know. Because for the, 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 all the rest of the fields here now that I have to do besides ours... They just stay in the field. They just get put into a pile like this, and then I'm done. I don't have to take them to my place or anything like that. So, whereas this is 
basically two farms in one because I got to take our half off and leave the other half for the end guy. And I got to stack both up. Well, it's easier to do ours first and then do the young guys here. And then now I got to bounce to another field. So I got one, two, three, four, five. I think there's, and then six includes that little bit underneath the bridge. So there's technically six fields that I have to do here. So, and when I can only move six at a time at our place, well, then I might as well just go do another field then. You know, it's like, maybe I should just let my uncle come down here then and just, you know, let him move him then. Cause I got to keep this damn outfit moving. So I don't know. So I don't know, I'm just trying to figure out what to fucking do. You know, it's just like, I'm not gonna sit here and and figure out what to do. Well, that's what I'm trying to do, I guess, but I shouldn't be. Because the spears don't let me stack hay to the way I want to have it stacked. I gotta use another freaking tractor to even to even do that. Which is more, it slows me, it, well, it doesn't really slow me down because I can just dump them and go, but it slows me down when the uh, other tractor operator doesn't want to keep going for hours. He just wants to go for 20 minutes and then go do something else. It's like, well, goddamn, no wonder why we don't get nothing done around here. So, sir, he's got a couple of cabs to you know look after. All you gotta do is feed them and give them water. And they got a bale that'll last them a couple of weeks. And then you give them water every hour, every couple of hours, it's like, you're right there in the fucking yard. Okay, hop off your tractor, go give him a pail of water, you know, and get right back on the fucking tractor and push the bales into a row. It's like, God damn, if I got to run both tractors, well, then I'll go move my operation somewhere else then and let him just deal with it all himself because I want to get done. I just want to get done. So, because you never know how the weather's going to play out. Like, yeah, we're getting... Sounds like we could get a couple of good days yet, but could also get more rain too. And then that's just uh, gonna slow me down all the more. So I just wanna get done. I just wanna get what I can get done. I wanted to get the square field done. I would have been done if the tractor, second tractor operator wouldn't have called the quits. Uh, and then if the spear wouldn't have been a jackass most of the time, it's like you go too slow doesn't work i tried going faster it does fuck all all it does is fuck up your bale spear and your bales it's like i've tried both sides sometimes and the, the, the bales don't want to get stabbed so it's like what do you do with them you know so it's a it's got to be a mixture of the, of the spears too damn big and the bales are too tight but he wants them tight because he has to haul them. Well, fuck, man, you're only going like 10 miles, even, even that. And it's not like you're going on the interstate and you're not going 90 miles an hour. So these bales, I think, could be a little looser than this. But it could be the spear, too. You know, it's just a piece of shit. It doesn't want to work. So I think it's, this is going to be the one. And, well, this is going to be the last year I use them. <laughs> he can put the fucking bale mover back together and I'll use that. This is just more frustrating and more time consuming than anything else. So, well guys, I think I'll probably take off. I'm gonna spring a leak and then I'm not gonna get this field done tonight. Um, so, I could, but I just, I'm frustrated and wore out. It's like, Seeing him hop, hop off his tractor, go put it back in the parking lot, just kind of made made all the more frustrating. He's like, dude, I could have brought in 20 more bales, and we could have, you know, been a little more dunner. But fuck, when you only want me to bring six at a time, and then you want to call it quits, it's like, well, Jesus Christ, I'm never gonna get nowhere. So I got to keep this tractor moving. I'm not gonna keep freaking stopping all the time. So. And it's less confusing if I just focus, like, for, you know, on this field, it's easier just to focus on our hay and not the young guys. See, right now, the way it's going, I'm doing both. I'm doing, you know, 
two things at one time. I'm putting up the young guys' hay, and then I'm trying to put ours up, but I can only do so much. So it's uh, it's just a little frustrating because it's slowing our operation down, and then I have to try to. Not that it really matters because it's all good hay, so it doesn't really matter where you take it, but I've been taking most of it out of the square field. But I think I'm just gonna jump right across here now and just go straight into the woods now. Start taking those, because now I'm, I'm way over to the bridge now. So, and since I got bales that are probably technically a little closer, I might go for them next. There's not gonna be too many there, but it's better than nothing. So, I don't know, I'll probably just spring a leak and then uh, maybe try to move a couple more, I guess. I don't know, I had to take a break for a little bit. So, you think, ah, oh, it's only, well, it's probably only about nine o'clock now, but I've been in there since about six, 6.30. You think, huh, you've been in there that long? Hey, that ain't nothing. Ah, it's, it's enough, but. It, it takes so long to move just even six bales. It's like, you know, because I can only move one bale at a time. Not a huge deal. But then when the spear doesn't want to work, you waste time. So it slows me down all the more. I could have moved 20 bales in the amount of time it took me to move six because of how the spear's acting up. So I don't know. I don't, I'm not a, I'm not a big fan of these of this spear anyway. I know there's a lot of newer ones out there. They got the two smaller ones, which probably would be more suitable. But when you got the one big giant spear on the on the top, and then those two little tiny ones on the bottom to just keep the bales from rotating, yeah, it's it, I don't know. If you had super loose bales, it'd be fine. But when they're tight like this, it's, I mean, they don't feel tight, but. But this one's all fucked up though too so i don't know i'm uh i think i'm pretty much just gonna move a couple more and then call her a night because it's getting too dark even though i got lights but knowing how the spear likes to act how's knowing how it likes to act well it might be more interesting at night so so I don't know. Anyways, guys, I guess I'm going to take off. So I guess uh, have a good day and stuff and stuff. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Take her easy.